Hey, what's going on guys? I'm Fizzy Brood, and welcome to another episode of WWE Supercard. Mm. So bear with me during this video, guys. I am sick. I woke up feeling like crap, so I took off work. Um, yeah, I just feel like shit. So, um, sorry for a video, not all weekend. I was pretty busy with ring domination, and, uh, just hanging out with the family and enjoying my weekend off. Um... But just to show you guys, I did indeed get the Legendary Dolph Ziggler. This actually came down to the last, like, uh, hour of the event. I ran out of bout, I ran out of titles at, like, 11 a.m. And I still had, like, 18 pieces to go. So pretty much I had to grind my ass off, try to win every match almost. Because I didn't want to put any more titles in. I didn't want to, I don't know, I just gave myself an excuse to grind. <laughs> Um, so I didn't put any more titles in it. I got it done right before the end of the event. <clears throat> so yeah, I got uh, Dolph Ziggler in. I'm um, going to be working on his matches. And then while I was dropped down an Epic tier, uh, I ended up did pulling an Epic card. I dropped down the Epic tier to get my cane um, done so I could pro him out. So I proed him out, and he's going to be a power toughness beast. Um, I don't really care about speed and charisma. I did put one token in charisma just to try to balance it out a little bit. But um, basically he's going to be a power toughness beast. It'll add some, a little bit of balance to my lineup. Because with John Cena, he's a power charisma beast. But he still does pretty good in toughness. Uh, Booker T, speed and charisma. He's going to win every match pretty much. Um, And then Kane, power toughness. So I'm kind of trying to balance out my cards good. And what did I pull, guys? I pulled a Nikki Bella. So that was, I was kind of, I was a little pissed. I was like, fuck, dude. All them resets I had in Legendary tier. Um, but then I pulled an Epic D, but that... That's that, that, if the, that was the pull I wanted, pretty much. So, my last two epic cards that I have gotten from uh, King of the Ring or uh, pulls have been Divas. So, that's a little bit of the upside, guys. My Divas look is starting to change. And here is my King of the Ring lineup. It's not looking too bad, to be honest with you. Um, the only thing I'm really hoping to change is I get another good down arrow here soon. Just so I can get that Wade Barrett out. King Barrett or whatever. <clears throat> but other than that, guys, it looks it's pretty stacked. I should have no problem winning the King of the Ring or at least reaching semis with this lineup. <sighs> so I have my three singles, guys, are my epic pros. That's the way I wanted it to be. Um, and that's the way it happened. So that, that's pretty cool. Um, I'm still having the common diva in just because uh, I don't have any good compatible divas right now. <clears throat> so there most likely is going to be an RTG this weekend. Um, I'm pretty excited about that. Um, let's hope. Uh, I'm, I'm kind of hoping I can get the legendary card, but I'm not too optimistic just because of how busy I am right around this time of the year. Because it is the busy season I got at work, guys. Um, eventually it's going to slow down and I'm going to work like 8-hour days, 9-hour days. Stuff like that. I can't wait for that to be honest with you. Um, but I am 1,800 games away from my random diva of your current current. Rarity, um, I'm hoping to be in Survivor tier by then. That is the ultimate goal. <clears throat> um, so, yep, let's get right into some exhibition. Play a little bit of exhibition for you guys. Um, and how did you guys do in ring domination and all that good stuff? I heard there was a lot of good pulls all weekend. Um, unfortunately, I didn't, I didn't have one good pull. In ring domination, all I had was... What did I have? Um, the highest superstar I pulled was super rare and the highest. Uh, I didn't pull no good supports and the highest enhancement I had was ultra rare. So this event was a little bit of a letdown. Usually in ring domination, I do have some good pulls. But uh, yeah, I didn't have no good pulls at all in ring domination this weekend. Kind of sucks, but who knows? I got that legendary Dolph Ziggler, which ultimately was my goal. I didn't, I didn't really care about the Alberto Del Rio. That's why I didn't really didn't grind too hard. Um, all weekend, just because I'm not going to be able to get him in RTG without paying a fucking good penny. <sighs> boom, boom. So, let's try to get this going down 0-2. It's all good. We'll throw Ziggler in there just because we can't win the match. Try to get some of our matches played with him. And I am going to start a King of the Ring today since I'm off work. I'm going to try to stay undefeated throughout the day. And then I'm going to end up losing at night. 
<clears throat> but, uh, yeah, I'm hoping I can do good in the King of the Ring. Pretty much all day what I'm going to do is I'm just going to relax and pretty much just play Black Ops 3 on Xbox One. Uh, I hope you guys liked my first WWE 2K16 video. If you guys haven't, go check that out. Um, I did upload it yesterday. Give me some feedback on it. I like creating them kinds of videos for you guys. And all that good stuff. So, yeah, it's just even her out in power toughness. There we go. So that's nice. Nice indeed. Sweet. So she's going to be a lot better than Cameron as well. Um, what she has is... Um, yeah, it's going to be 7 per stat. So her charisma is going to go up 21 more. Which will make it 480, which is good. Her speed's going to go up 14 more, which means it's going to be uh, 14 is 473. Sorry about that. And then her power toughness is going to be really good. So this is going to be an actually an awesome card. I'm excited to get the games played with her. Um, since she's going to be in King of the Ring, her <clears throat> it's not going to take that long to get all of the games done with her. So that's awesome. Here we go, live and die by the proc, Mr. Cena. Oh, my. Wow, that Xavier Woods' stats are bad. Jesus. So here we go, toughness. Um, that sucks we lost. <laughs> so, I am going to play two more, two more matches. I don't, well, probably just one more. I don't like to play exhibition that much on camera. Plus, uh, my throat hurts, so I don't want to talk too, too much. I don't want to risk losing my voice totally. <clears throat> yep. So, probably there's going to be the preview for Ring Domination. Uh, probably up tomorrow. Uh, they'll probably announce the undercards tomorrow, but the preview might be up tomorrow. Who knows? There we go. Cena and Kane are a compatible tag. That's sweet. And power toughness. Mm, it's going to be close. I think we still got it, though. Eh, no, we don't. <laughs> Booker T would have been a little bit better in power toughness. We would have won. But, guys, that is going to wrap up today's video, guys. Thank you all for watching, guys. Drop a like on the button, guys, for more. WWE Supercard videos. Guys, and I'm Fritter Bird. I will see you all later.